And now to our discussion segment, the Supreme Court declared on Thursday that it is unconstitutional for state governors to hold funds allocated for local government administrations. The seven-man panel in the judgment delivered by Justice Emmanuel declared that the 774 local government councils in the country should manage their funds themselves. The Apex Court held that the power of the uh, government is portion into three arms of government, the federal, the state, and the local government. The court further declared that a state government has no power to appoint a caretaker committee and a local government council is only uh, recognizable with a democratically elected government. To speak on the economic benefits and implications of uh, the financial autonomy for local government is an economist, Yusho Aliu. Thank you for coming on the program. Uh, thank you very much. Okay, b before we uh, get into the discussion uh, proper, uh, I would like to uh, I would like to just speak your thoughts on the uh, recent uh, uh, inflation figures that just came out today. It's what we have been saying for a very long period of time that if uh, all parameters remain as they are, definitely with the NPR high with uh, supply bottlenecks, definitely we must be seeing an increase in inflation. And this trend has been sustained for over 24 months. And uh, we still oblige that uh, without much intervention as far as uh, other fiscal and monetary measures are involved, uh, inflation will continue to give rise to be to be increasing and also purchasing power being eroded. Uh, it's not a new thing, but it's very dangerous for the economy where consumers are losing their powers in the market every day. Well, we've seen the uh, we've seen the authorities, both physical, uh, though the central bank has uh, continued to tighten monetary policy, and we've seen uh, the uh, uh, physical authorities uh, making moves like the uh, uh, various. Uh, 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 tools uh, signed by uh, the president to see how they can really or we can really address inflation in the country. Uh, is it too early to see the impact now? Yeah, it's too early uh, for many reasons. One, we have to see efficiency from the Ministry of Finance. I have a strong conviction that the Federal Ministry of Finance through the Department of IDEC uh, will, do, will be more efficient and will also respond to the right policies adjustment in the economy. So also, I'm calling for uh, the custom and excise also to expedite action and to also be more efficient and diligent in discharging responsibility so that uh, the supply bottlenecks that we are experiencing based on the gesture of Mr. President, uh, we are expecting uh, 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 similar uh, courage and proactive measures to help the economy move. Okay. Uh, for now to local government autonomy, uh, some, some describe it as a win-win for the grassroots. What do you make of uh, the decision? I have to congratulate Court? 774 local government and six area councils uh, for, for winning this. And I have, I have to also congratulate uh, President Bola Ahmed Tinubu. Uh, this is the renewed hope that we are hoping that to take power uh, to the grassroots and also to take financial autonomy to the grassroots. Remember, under uh, Revenue Mobilization Allocation and Fiscal Commission, the sharing formula clearly spelled out what the federal government is taking from the federation account, what the state government is taking, as well as local government. But over time, because of certain inefficiencies and certain political maneuvers, uh, the trend changes, and it is an adverse that has created a lot of unemployment at the grassroots, a lot of security challenges at the grassroots, but it's not a win uh, situation for the, for, for the local government. Definitely there must be uh, economic coordination so that the priorities of the government, the priorities that include investment and other opportunities must be guided from the apex to the grassroots. Okay, what does this imply? with this new regime, what does it imply? What for? it implies is, is simple. Now we are expecting to have a free democratic transition in the local council, which is very much important. We are expecting also at the grassroots for people to bring out 
qualitative leaders that can uh, take the custody and accountability of these funds that are going to be allocated directly. Remember at the beginning of this democracy in 1999, local government were, were, were at, or they have the autonomy and they were very efficient, but unfortunately as a result of certain deficiencies and interventions, the trend changes. But for now, uh, we, 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 you know, it's very good to always try to consider if a progress is made to identify with the progress and to be careful with the challenges associated with the development. The local government, as they are, they have a lot of potentials. And the best way to approach local economy is to go to agrarian uh, sector, that is the agri sector, to make sure that all the participating uh, uh, practitioners at the local level are given the right uh, attention and are given the right, especially using the extension workers to guide the seedling system, the, the, the production system, the processing system, as well as the distributive mechanism. And it, that will not only be successful without the coordination of the federal government through the state for all local government and area councils. Now, the National Union of Local Government uh, uh, Employees, uh, uh, NOLGE, says 50% of Nigeria's uh, problems will be solved with LGAs uh, or local government financial autonomy. How true is this? No, uh, NOLGE uh, is, 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 is making it more uh, political in that direction. What we are expecting is that right from the sharing formula from the revenue mobilization, you realize that what is going to the local council is being uh, 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 allocated differently. And what we are expecting is proper coordination, proper financial discipline, proper financial literacy. These are the things that Nolge should preach. For instance, uh, uh, if you take a local government uh, that is located in far north and you take the local government that is also located at the far east, you realize that there is a lot of differences in, in terms of uh, geographical location, in terms of occupational background, and in terms of even cultural relations. So what we are expecting is that with the help of proper democracy, qualitative leadership, and efficient coordination, we are expecting local government to start reducing unemployment rate, increasing the gross level, and also bring about sanity in terms of security for different economic zones to be operating efficiently for economic gross purposes of the economy. Now, now some, some people argue that the, the whole idea should, should not be about uh, uh, revenue uh, allocation. It should not just be uh, coming to take the chunk of the cake. It should be rather about thinking out of the box and coming up with new ways to uh, somehow uh, attract revenue from, from the public? Uh, yes, you can attract revenue by creating taxes, but the Joint Tax Board has a serious responsibility. The state internal revenue generation agencies has also a different responsibility. But that is why I'm emphasizing that there should be coordination in an, in an attempt to avoid multiple taxation. You know, when federal government decided to uh, share certain part of taxes, value-added tax, withholding tax, and other tax rate, it is important to understand that it's the same consumers in the same country, in the same economy that are scattered all over. So there is need to have proper sharing formula, not only in the federation account, but also in the responsibility. The principle that is attached to taxation is principle of quid pro quo, returns benefit. Whatever taxes that are deducted at the local level should translate to development, should, transport, should translate to, to, to enhance the social life of individuals that includes education, health, and, 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 and economic purposes around the, the, the locality. Now, the, do you see this addressing the issue of rural uh, urban migration that it, we've it seen? It will significantly reduce rural urban migration, but it has to do with a lot of interventions from the state and federal government because what, what sort of intervention intervention that whoever that is managing local government should not be seen around state in hotels should not be seen at the federal capital coming for investment purposes what we expect we want qualitative leaders at the local level to be inviting uh, 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 people that are in, 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 that is, people that are putting resources together, that is, 
uh, people who are to put the economy to work. We are expecting them to start making collaboration, making partnership for various sectors of the economy, especially that helps that this local government has specialization in an attempt to generate more jobs, to reduce urban, uh, rural urban migration, to also even reduce the, 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 the security challenges that is facing most of the local government council around the country, either in the northern part or in the southern part or eastern part of the country. So uh, when, when do you think we, we should be able to see this uh, particular uh, impact? Uh, it, it, it will be in the, in the, in, in the medium, medium term mm -hmm. be because many of these local councils are headed by caretaker committees, which is not accepted by the Nigerian constitution, but we are expecting this to, for the state governors and the federal government to put head together to make INEC responsible for all elections at the state and even local council level so that qualitative leaders who are who are going to be elected by the by their community who are going to also be held accountable by their people and we have to also emphasize the use of uh, 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 social this uh, 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 social uh, people civil society groups we have to emphasize that in each local council there should be civil society that will influence what the local council are doing especially in terms of capital especially also in terms of project that is emanating from the national for econ for economic uh, development purposes remember that national budget has to do with a lot of constituency projects, and these constituency projects are scattered all over the 774 local government and area council. So the civil society has to be more proactive, and not only being proactive, they have to also be organized, and also these foreign agencies in terms of educating and making literacy uh, uh, pronounced in all these uh, uh, communities will help to put the local council at a better chance of achieving certain economic target for growth and development of this country. Thank you very much, uh, Yushu Aliu. It's Thank always you a pleasure much. having you in the program. Thank you very much.